La Palma, a tiny Atlantic island with a big secret. A vast crater in the heart of the island was gouged out by multiple mega landslides. The landslides at St Helens and Anak Krakatau were both caused by magma movements deep inside the volcanoes. Seismic tremors literally shook them apart. But there has been no volcanic activity on La Palma for over 40 years. Is the island no longer a threat or is it biding its time? La Palma is the volcanically most active island in the entire archipelago. It's the period of island growth where eruptions are quite frequent. And uh, I would be very, very surprised if there's no more eruptions here on the island. But if scientists believe another eruption will happen, where could a mega landslide take place? To the south of the island is a massive mountain. Some scientists believe it's vulnerable to a collapse that would unleash an apocalyptic tsunami. And it faces directly at the USA. The Atlantic island of La Palma is a peaceful tourist paradise. But X-raying the Earth has revealed that it sits on top of a huge store of molten rock, which scientists believe will erupt again, with the potential to trigger a landslide and tsunami headed straight for the USA. Central La Palma has already been wiped out by an apocalyptic landslide. But there's another region of the island that has some scientists seriously concerned. Southern La Palma is dominated by a massive mountain. This is the Cumbre Vieja, or Old Ridge. It's 12 miles long and soars over a mile above sea level. Billions of tons of rock are piled in dangerously steep slopes. And it faces directly at the United States. Geologists are very concerned about the Cumbre Vieja region because it's very steep. Any edifice that is uh, over about 30 degrees in uh, slope angle is inherently unstable. Portions of the Cumbre Vieja ridge are well above 30 degrees in their steepness. Geologist Valentin Troll heads for these remote highlands. He wants to know if Cumbre Vieja could collapse and he soon finds evidence of an explosive history. This is Hoyo Negro Crater, the uh, site of the 1949 eruption. And this was the most explosive vent of that eruption. A volcanic eruption here in 1949 punched a 500 foot deep crater in the side of Cumbre Vieja. Valentin treks further along the ridge. Up ahead, he sees a second massive eruption site. The two craters prove magma has been punching upwards through the Cumbre Vieja. Restless magma triggers landslides. Just how restless is this mountain? To find out, we must X-ray the Earth. Deep beneath the surface, lava rock evidence reveals the traces of not two, but six volcanic eruptions. The Cumbre Vieja isn't a mountain at all. The whole ridge is a single massive volcano. For now, the Cumbre Vieja volcano appears to be quiet. But in 2017 and 2018, two flurries of hundreds of small earthquakes were detected, called seismic swarms. They took place underneath the Cumbre Vieja. 
uh, this hints at magma movement underneath the island. So there is magma there, and uh, sooner or later, some of this magma might come up and form another eruption. At Anak Krakatau and at Mount St. Helens, rising magma caused the volcanoes to crack open and collapse in giant landslides. At Cumbre Vieca, restless magma could trigger the same catastrophe. It's a chilling vision of the future, but for some scientists, it has already started. In the deep undergrowth of the Cumbre Vieca, Valentin Troll finds a wide scar in the landscape. This is the fracture that opened up in 1949 during the eruption. This open fracture here is separating the rocks on my right, which are in this case about one and a half to two meters higher relative to the rocks on my left, meaning that there was an opening of a fracture and a downwards move on this side. The fracture can be traced for two miles along the Cumbre Vieja. It could be the first glimpse of a massive future collapse towards the Atlantic. But scientists disagree about how deep the scar may go. Some people argue this is just a surface expression of the magma that supplied the 1949 eruption. Others, however, argue that this translates into a major fault zone at depth, a fault line that runs deep into the island. If this was a fault line, then this could in theory be a slip line along which the western part of the island could be moving.